Meantime, one Tulsa family is hoping to get their two kids vaccinated, but they aren't old enough yet, so they found a vaccine trial for their 11 year old daughter. Two News reporter Katie Kelleher shares why they wanted to take part in the trial and how it's going so far in a story you'll see only on Two News. While anyone 12 and older can get the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are still only eligible for those 18 and older. So Evelyn Saylor is helping researchers find out the effects of the Moderna vaccine on kids. I want to like get out of the pandemic. Despite only being 11, Evelyn Saylor received her first Moderna vaccine shot last week. She's part of a trial at the Lynn Institute in Oklahoma City to study Moderna vaccine dosage on children. I was kind of nervous, but I was also like, the pandemic is ending, you know? Evelyn uses an app to track how she's feeling, but other than a sore arm and a headache the day after her first shot, she says she's fine. Her dad, Ryan, says they wanted her to have a chance to get the vaccine and felt it was safe after he and his wife got it themselves. From our understanding, the scientific evidence was strongly in favor of the safety and efficacy of the Moderna vaccine, so we felt confident going into it. Evelyn's looking forward to being fully vaccinated so she can have a summer full of activities like camp and hanging out with her friends. Well, I want to just have played as my friends, like up until when people started getting the vaccine. I haven't like seen anybody in like a year. For dad, he's just happy to see his daughter have a chance to be a kid again. We felt like our kids in a way got uh, forced to become little adults during the during the pandemic and have to worry about things that kids shouldn't have to worry about. And so the return to normalcy is something that I think will make um, normal life uh, something extraordinary. And we're looking forward to that. Evelyn is scheduled to get her second shot in a few weeks. Now, if you're trying to decide whether to get your child vaccinated or not, Ryan suggests talking to your pediatrician to figure out the best course of action. Katie Kelleher, 2 News.